My name is Caroline, and this is my story. Growing up as a child, my parents brought us to church every Sunday. I went to Sunday school and went to all the classes that I was supposed to attend as a child. As I grew older, I decided to make my own decisions, and the decisions I made went against God's commandments. I thought partying really made me happy. I would drink and um, just hang out with friends at all hours of the night. I um, eventually stopped going to church because I, I couldn't face um, the thought of displeasing God anymore. When I was 25 years old, I went through a difficult breakup. I tried to hide my depression in so many different ways. I thought that by looking good, it would help me feel better. But on the inside, I felt empty, I was depressed and I felt like um, it was just all a facade. I had a chance to move to Los Angeles and I thought that would make things better. So I made the move. But when I moved out, I found that the depression that I tried to get away from came back. I would cry out to God to just end my life and put me out of my misery because the pain I felt inside hurt so much. Well, at my job, there was this one lady who was always smiling. Over time, we became friends and we talked more and more and she would invite me to church. I said no to her several times, but one time I ran out of excuses and I thought I should just go to get it over with. As we pulled up into the parking lot, I noticed this guy getting out of his car and thought how cute he was. And then I just thought, oh God, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not here to meet guys. I, I'm just here trying to be good. So we went into church and sat down and the pastor opened the Bible and started preaching. But I just remember hearing how Jesus loves us and that he came here on earth to die for us. A thought in my mind came that Jesus died for Caroline. I never heard that before. I always thought that was for someone else, that it wasn't for me. I asked him to come into my heart I just told him that I was tired of living my life and that I wanted him to be my life. I was filled with this acceptance, with um, this peace and love that I had not felt before. I didn't know that all I needed to do was to tell Jesus I was sorry for my sins and that he would accept me right where I was. Today, April 12th, is the day I accepted Christ. That was 17 years ago. Remember that guy I met at church? Well, that's Bob, and he's been my husband for the past 15 years. We have two precious kids, Joshua and Rebecca. Every day, I, I feel like I discover something new about God that I didn't know before. And every day, I feel like I'm still learning. Life is so good.